Hello, welcome. Sorry this is a bit late, um, but we were just really busy. So we just think we thought we'd do a quick roundup of episode four and then do a more in, data, in detailed review of episode five. So this was the episode where Meryl Streep crashed the Halloween party in a super creepy way mm. and got everyone's backs up. And to be honest, I love it when Meryl Streep's character gets Reese Witherspoon's character's back up yeah. because it's so comic. Yeah. But this was quite an important little scene for laying the seed that she believes that Zoe Kravitz has something to do with the death. She unnerved Zoe Kravitz. Yeah, but more significantly, Kidman hits her. Yeah. I mean, she smacks her. Yeah, she smacks her because she's doing a really good job of sending Nicole Kidman's Kidman character insane. crazy, gaslighting her, yeah. so that she can justify taking those boys mm. who she wants to fuck up just in the same way she did her son. But did she fuck up or something? Do we yes. know that for a fact? We're going to find it out. She's going to have done something dreadful to him. Or maybe he was just born a psychopath. I don't necessarily on, think we are. Come on, she's such a... Well, I don't, no, want, I don't want to talk, it's, it's hard doing a review of episode four, I haven't seen episode five, but I mean, there's stuff in episode five that kind of made me think, well, oh, hang on a minute, you know. I mean, let's face it, Kidman ain't the full ticket. She ain't the full ticket. She's got to have a bit of a screwlish because she likes violent sex and stuff like that. So, you know, she's that, that, was it this episode where they had the scene where the street walked in and she was on that date and the kids looked yeah. absolutely... I mean, yeah. you know, that's kind of... No, I think what we're going to find out, we haven't seen any of this yet, is I think we're going to find out that Nicole Kidman had an incredibly abusive mm. childhood and that's why she looks to violence to right. to validate her feelings yeah. and her worth. And this is why she goes out and picks up this guy mm. on a night that Meryl Streep's got the kids. It's really awful. Meryl Streep comes back, she mm. finds her in bed with this dodgy guy, yet another, and she's a bit pissed and mm. a bit out of it. Well, she's taking those drugs, isn't she? I mean, she's her husband's sort of... just died. But she's on massive tranquilizers as well. Well, no, she's she? not. She only uses those for when she's on, when she's got the pain of the broken ribs, as she said last week. Yeah, but I think that's what she was driving. She was driving under the influence of prescription drugs. She's definitely more addicted to them than just using them in a purely medicinal, yeah. responsible manner. Um, what I really like about this this episode is the way in which, well, all the, all these episodes is the way in which they dovetail between each of the couple's stories. Oh, and, so and whilst well. you move from story to story. You want to be in the presence of each one. It's not like you're thinking, oh no, it's this not one. this one. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I feel that a few times with Zoe Kravitz's character, but yeah, it's getting better. Irritating. It gets better in episode five. But um, but so I love the fact that Laura Dern and her hubby, you know, went through that chillingly horrible bankruptcy scene of the wedding ring, where that, so good. that callous, cold man just was like, no sympathy, no interest. Take your ring. Did you drive her in a car? We'll have your car. And Ooh. I think you know this is something. That, else really that's wonderful looking into these kinds of lives that we mm. can have no real sense of uber rich mm. and you could drive past any of these homes and think wow what an incredible yeah. life they've got and of course every relationship is just dis as dysfunctional as the last and also so. it's that that a reminder of that thing of wealth can come and go just at the drop of a hat and i think oh, that, that's, dressing. that's the petrifying element to it so laura dern i think is playing that really well because she obviously comes from humble roots herself has built up her strength her power making the top 50 strongest women and all that kind of and stuff i love, so I love and i that. love that in this episode we're seeing again this obsessive love for her daughter mm. she's obsessed about giving her daughter mm. everything that she didn't have, which is the funny thing often for people that come from a yeah. very poor background is that often the children will turn and go, do you know what, I don't want the fast car, the swimming pool, the, yeah, I just yeah. like to see you more. Yeah. And she yeah. throws this lavish party for her daughter's birthday, yeah. which I have to say, all the way through it, I was thinking, uh, how child friendly is this party? It was like all seventies, wasn't it? They, all the oh, adults no, it was were totally there. Totally geared for the adults. I mean, there was yeah. no, I mean, even the even, even Reese Witherspoon's husband and. And Reese Witherspoon's ex-husband had a fight, didn't and they? Fight, I mean, yeah. they had a really I like comedic, their relationship, it's yeah, funny. It's funny, it's sort of comedy. There's a little bit of comedy yeah. in there. Uh, yeah, so she has this extravagant party. You do end up thinking, Jesus, if you're this broke, should you be doing this? So, yeah. I don't know, there's all of and that. And Kravitz's mum was there being weird again, because yeah, obviously she's got so these special weird. powers. But, but, I mean, are they trying to infer that those special powers are real? Yeah. And I think so. And she keeps having these flashbacks. We keep seeing these mini flashbacks, which increase a lot in episode five, um, of obviously a very dysfunctional Upbringing. relationship. Where she keeps being drowning, Zoe yeah. Kravitz, as a little girl. Yeah. And Memories she's, of being dunked. And she's an alcoholic. I mean, we saw that in episode two, yeah, so she's uh, an alcoholic, so we know that. Yeah. And then we see her have a massive stroke. 
Well, she has a massive stroke, yeah, and she collapses. And at I party. thought at that point that she was dead. And running alongside all of this is Reese Witherspoon and her husband. She's signed him up to kind of go into some happy, clappy kind of retreat, isn't she? Retreat. Which we'll see in episode five. But I mean... Watching the pain that he's going through is really... Watching the pain he's going through is really interesting, but also watching how uh, his regret. absence is also part of why she's done mm. what she's done. And I think the two of them are playing it so honestly. You can sort mm. of see where they meet, you can see where they match each other or are appropriate for each other. And you can also see where they're totally inappropriate yeah. for each other, can't you? But I would call it, it she's exquisite. Every time mm. she's on the screen, it's just a delight. Mm. She has got something, I, I had no idea that I've been missing Reese Witherspoon's career. I mean, I don't know what else she's done. Yeah. She's got something really special. Mm. I'm a massive fan of hers now, yeah. massive. So basically, episode four, we saw the net is tightening around the girl, the women, the women. Yeah, and I don't the like it. It's really unnerving. Yeah. I don't want them to get caught. That because police woman keeps standing at the end yeah, of the corridors. And I know, looking. looking and, and why are they going to get caught? Because they've told a big little, little lie. lie. And let's face it, this big little lie is about to come unstuck. Mm. So, all very good. And Streep, I'm really relieved. Streep is kind of just verging on the edge of, not caricature, but, you know, she's so malevolent and she's so creepy. She's creepy. Creepy is the word. But totally reasonable but totally at the re same yeah, time, yeah. which is so unnerving. And real. Very yeah. real. So, we're now going to go over to episode five. 